So what's up guys, it's the Richard Ortiz 123 coming at you guys again with another video and I want to say I'm going to be wearing this hoodie throughout the entire video because my haircut is fucking abysmal. My barber fucked me up, but that's not the point of this video. So I'm coming at you guys today with 16 of the worst shoes released in 2016. Now, this has been a great year for sneakers, but these are the worst of the worst. Like I'm talking about garbage. And I know that this is going to upset a lot of people, so you know I have to come through with the Vaseline so that this will hurt your ass less because I'm going to fucking demolish your fucking prized possessions or whatever and I know that there are a couple of shoes that everyone's going to get so upset that are on the list let's get right to it of course there are some shoes that didn't make the list which is okay and we got two of them the first being the Adidas Easy Cleats are you serious? like I don't, I, what? I don't even have words to explain it who in the fuck thought that this would be a great idea to put hmm, so we see that the Yeezy Boost is going for like 1500 right? Let's put a cleat on it. And the second honorable mention is the Curry Too Low. Now, I'm not going to say anything about this shoe because you guys fucking roasted the shit out of this shoe when it first came out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to keep moving. And later in the video, is going to connect with the shoe that everyone's going to hate me for. We got through the honorable mentions. Let's get to the actual list. Starting at number 16, to show you guys that I'm not playing, that I'm not playing when I say that I'm going to hurt so many people's asses. The Nike Air Presto. Go on, go ahead, go roast me, hit the dislike button, whatever you gotta do. Yep. You done? Alright, fine, let me explain myself. I never really got behind the hype of this shoe, I didn't understand. I just hate this shoe in general, from the way it looks, all of the colorways, the fucking weird sizing, like, like, there's no, like, number size, it's like, small, medium, and large, like, that makes no sense to me. But, whatever, uh, all you hype beasts or whatever, you guys fucking fiend it for those, like, I think safaris or whatever. Or the USA's, but those are fucking abysmal. Like the entire fucking the Presto, like the entire shoe, not just one specific colorway. I don't know why everybody likes them, but that's number 16 on my list. Number 15 is the Reebok Fury Light Chucka. Excuse me. God, man, I'm sorry. I had to excuse myself. I had to excuse myself, bro. That's hilarious. Number 14 is the New Balance 990. Now, I know this shoe got popular once Lil Uzi first started rocking or whatever, but you're following a dude who rocks purses. Now, I don't judge. It's 2016, and two days is going to be 2017. You can do whatever you want, but I'm just saying, come on now. This shoe is just fucking ugly. Like, it's plain out fucking ugly. Number 13 is the Air Jordan 6 Black Cat. What the fuck was Jordan Brand thinking? Hmm. So, we have a Black Cat series that's doing pretty good. So, let's take the Jordan 6, put a bunch of holes in it, call it the Black Cat, put a white midsole, and then put a translucent dark black outsole. Yep, $190. Yep. And everyone's going to buy it, of course, because it's a Jordan 6. Number 12 is the Adidas Lace Up Times Pharrell. This looks like your fucking grandmother's carpet or her fucking favorite knitted sweater from like the 1950s. Like, come on, son. Pharrell has had some fucking amazing collabs with fucking Adidas, like, for example. So what the hell is this? Like, I, I can't fathom, like, who in Adidas said that this was a go? Like, who gave this green light? Please, let me know. It's, I'm, I'm looking at the computer screen. I just... I don't understand. Like, a fucking five-year-old with a couple of Crayola crayons can fucking make a better shoe than this crap. Number 11 is the Nike Kobe 11 3D. What is going on? I have no understanding. What? This shoe is fucking ugly. Just look at it. Like, the Nike Kobe 11 low itself is ugly as hell, but this colorway makes it 20 times uglier. Like, the concept is kind of cool, you know, a 3D shoe or whatever, but... What? Just... Oh my... Next shoe, next shoe. I don't even want to look at this no more. Next shoe. Number 10 is the Nike LeBron 13 Low Family Foundation. Now, the Nike LeBron 13 Low is fucking ugly in itself, but this just shows how ugly it is. And... How the lack of creativity that Nike has. So let me look at this. It's a white low 
with fucking rainbow on the fucking bottoms. Like, again, who in the hell let this go? What is going on at Nike? I don't understand. This is not the last time I'm going to flip out on Nike, but 2016 for Nike has been a fucking trash year. I don't know what's going on. The fucking colorways of almost every shoe they put out is garbage or fucking unoriginal as hell. Just like this fucking shoe. Next one. Number eight. The Nike KD8 Elite. For this one, I know exactly what Nike was doing and thinking when they decided to invent this shoe. You know what I think? I think that we should take the Nike KD8 and put a sock on the top. Yo, pass me the blunt bag. I'm pretty sure you can find these on clearance for like $20. Who in the fuck wants to buy this? This literally goes up to your fucking knees. Like, who wants that shit? Number seven, the Reebok Question Mid Dress Code. I'm listen, I gotta excuse myself. <laughs> Man, that's funny. Number six, the Under Armour Curry 3. I don't know. Do you guys know what's wrong with this shoe? Can you please tell me what's wrong with this shoe? I don't know. Maybe it's the fucking shape of the shoe that it looks like a fucking L. I don't know. I can't tell. Can you guys help me out? The Curry 1 was great. The Curry 2 was okay. The Curry 3 is fucking abysmal. I don't know what's going on. Like, Clay Thompson, his shoe is fucking abysmal. Now, Fucking Stephen Curry shoes is ugly. I don't watch basketball. Uh, I just, I'm into the shoes, but. Number five, the Reebok times Kendrick Lamar Lux. Now, I don't know if this was a joke, but if it is a joke, it's a really good one, Reebok. What the fuck is that shit? Yo, I didn't really like the first two shoes. You know, the, fir the very first one that came out was okay. I could have rocked it. I could have bought it, but I decided not to. The second one was okay still. You know, like it had nice suede, it had red and blue on the back, you know. If you don't know the, the concept of the shoe, it's a great concept. Kendrick Lamar is trying to like bring gangs together, you know. Uh, but what the fuck? Like, this is just a green leather, greenish brown, with fucking red and blue embossed in the back. And then a garbage outsole. Might as well just throw that fucking whole collab down the drain because this shoe is garbage. And people try to resell this. I could not believe it. People tried to resell it. I'm pretty sure you can still find them online if there's like the one person out of 7 billion that actually think these are nice. I don't know why you would think that, but if you do, uh, go to Reebok. You should find it. Pretty easy, actually. Number four, the Nike Lab Air Zoom Chalapuka. Do I even have to do this again? Like... Who, again, who in the fucking Nike is smoking that much that they decide, hmm, this is a good idea. This literally looks like one of the fucking nets at the at a fucking park where you climb, the little kids climb at it. Like, why the hell does this shoe have so many holes? And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, it's for running, breathability. Who the fuck is gonna wear this shoe to run? I swear, if I see you wearing this shoe and you're out running, I'm gonna fucking chip you. Fuck out of here, I'll break a leg. Number three, the Air Jordan 16. Now, nobody really gives a fuck about Air Jordans after 14, but surprisingly, this had a hype over it. I don't know how. This shoe is ugly from all angles. It's ugly from the side, from the front, from the bottom, from the top. Like, and that fucking like thing that comes off is just it's just so weird. Like one of my friends said it's like a fucking dissected frog when the when the the fucking it's split open and these two sides are open. Like he said, it's like that. I don't know what's going on. And the fact that Nike tried to charge $250 for this fucking shoe just blows my mind. $250. You want to know something even more absurd? The fucking shoe sold out. Like, I cannot believe it. It sold out. A 250 bum ass, ugly ass shoe like that sells out. I'm gonna go fucking shoot myself. Number two, the Nike Air Trainer Cruise Black Cement. This is totally not an easy to rip off with the black cement colorway. Nike would never do that. Creativity goes a long way, Nike. You guys are a fucking billion dollar company, I'm assuming. 
Get some fucking ideas. And this colorway just shows how ugly this shoe is. Like the, the Giants colorway, that's actually a dope color with the all blue suede, but this colorway is just gross. Like the Black Cement threes are one of the best shoes to ever be released. These are one of the worst. Just because you see a successful shoe colorway on one shoe doesn't mean that you can put it on another and it'll be the same amount of success. And number one, you guys are gonna need this. You are especially gonna need this. If you haven't used this throughout the video, you're gonna need it right now. The Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. This shoe looks like a shoe that your fucking grandfather would wear with khaki shorts and a white polo to go play tennis. This shoe looks similar to the Curry 2 and you guys dog those shoes. But since this shoe has automatic self-lacing technology and has a retail of $725, it's one of the best shoes of 2016. Oh my God, I need a pair. Oh my God, somebody else sold my ass. Just give me the fucking shoes. This shoe is ugly, it's worthless, and it just proves to show the amount of hype beasts that there are. Just because it has a, a nice fucking price tag of almost $1,000, you guys are gonna buy it. The more expensive it is, the more you're gonna wanna buy it. You wanna know why? Because then you get to flaunt. You could be like, oh, look at me, I got the thousand dollar shoes that self-lace, you see this? Even though these look like fucking dad shoes, uh, I don't know, I still wanna rock them though. Abysmal. All right guys, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, like it. Um, I know there's a lot of hate on this video. Like, I can already tell the amount of hate that's gonna be on this video. Um, leave a comment, negative or positive, I'll, re I'll reply to it probably. Um, yeah, let me know if you use this or not. Let me know if you agree. Uh, 2016 was a great year for my channel and for me. Uh, 2017 is going to be even better. And yeah, guys, so it's D. Richard Ortiz, 123, signing off, guys. Peace. Final video of 2017. In two days, I won't be active for a whole year. Fuck out of here.